Oregon's air quality in recent decades is one of the state's greatest environmental challenges. Yeah, with our summer season heating up, environmentalists say this will worsen the smog pollution. Elise Haas is live with the newest data about the air quality in the metro area. Elise? Well, Ken and Jenny, the air in our area might seem clear, but researchers say that it is a pollution is a constant problem. And they say that cars and vehicles are the biggest drivers behind our bad air. Millions of Americans are breathing unhealthy air. New data is out underlining Oregon's consistent pollution levels. And what we found is that air quality continues to be a problem here in the Portland area and in areas across the state. The report found that 2.4 million people in the greater Portland area in 2016 had 37 days of degraded air quality, which increases the risk of premature death, asthma attacks, and other health impacts. We need to be cutting our air pollution, both smog pollution, particulate pollution, and global warming pollution at a much faster rate because one day of, un of unhealthy air is one day too many. According to the Environment Oregon Research and Policy Center, burning fossil fuels is the culprit for unhealthy air. That's everything from coal, uh, diesel, and gasoline, um, and those are the areas that we need to be uh, cutting as soon as possible. The state director with Environment Oregon says the Trump administration is threatening to slash federal clean car standards and other clean air policies. So we're really concerned uh, because we actually need to be strengthening these uh, regulations instead of rolling them back. Pediatricians say the dirty air and smog in our area is linked to adverse health effects, including asthma and heart disease. During times uh, when air pollution levels are high, we see increased numbers of children with asthma coming in for medical attention. To reduce pollution, Environment Oregon researchers are pushing the federal government to uphold the clean car standards and calling on TriMet to transition to a zero emissions fully electric buses by 2020. Even with all of their efforts to improve air quality, uh, researchers say that Portlanders often breathe unhealthy air. They say that poor air quality is a community issue, but that they'll continue to push for environmental policies. Reporting live at Coin Tower, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Yeah, because we don't want to start to look like parts of like Southern California, that's for sure. No, I don't want to yeah. look like mm -hmm. L.A. All no. right. Thank you, Elise. All right.